everybody, it's Emily at Arg Schooling, and today I'm going to be talking about my January TBR. I have a really ambitious stack here, and this isn't even everything because I have stuff coming in the mail that will be here later this week, and I don't know. I don't know that I'm actually going to get through everything in this stack. However, it's my goal to try to get through as much of this as possible. So, let's just talk about the books, shall we? <laughs> First up, I want to talk about the ARG Booked Book Club selection for the month of January, and that is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. We're going to be reading this all month, and I'll have a live show discussion on this channel at the very beginning of February, so if you want to participate, read along with me. Um, I also have a Discord that I'll link below if you're interested in chatting about the book over the course of the month before the live show. So anyway, I don't really know a lot of detail about what this is, but I loved The Martian, and so I was really anticipating picking this up this past year and just didn't get to it. So I really wanted to start the year with it because I have a feeling I'm going to love this. All I really know is we have a character who is on some kind of mission to find a, an, a habitable planet and it, I don't know if he gets lost or something happens where he is on his own in space and I don't know, that's, that's all I know. I've heard so many good things about this, I've heard so many people say it's, it's Weir's best book yet, so I am extremely excited to pick this up and read with you guys. I'm currently reading Come Tumbling Down by Shauna McGuire. I've been, like, I think last year I, was the first year I, like, kicked off the year with a Wayward Children book, and this year I decided to do the same. One, because they're novellas, so they're quick and easy to read, but also because I wanted to catch up on the series. I have the new book coming out on Tuesday pre-ordered, so it'll be here in a few days, and I was hoping to actually read it this year, so I wanted to catch up. Uh, Come Tumbling Down is the fifth book in the Wayward Children series, and this one comes back to Jack and Jill, which I'm excited about because they are my favorite characters in the series so far, although I think I'm gonna say Cora and Christopher are, like, really close behind Jack and Jill as being, like, favorite characters, so, and all of them are in this story, so that's exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to finish this today actually. Today is the second day of the month and I wanted to like start the year off with like an easy quick read. I have two arcs that I really want to prioritize getting to this month. The first one is Just a Girl. This is a true story of World War II by Leah Levy and I was really really intrigued by this story because it's about a Jewish girl living in Italy during World War II with the rise of Mussolini and I don't think I've ever read a story about a Jewish person in Italy during World War II, so I was really intrigued by that. This is middle grade, there are pictures in here, and it just looked like a story that I really would enjoy, so I'm really excited to get to this. This comes out in March, I believe. And this was also sent to me from HarperCollins as well, and this is From Dust a Flame by Rebecca Potos. This comes out in February, and all I know going into this is that it is Jewish, and it is sapphic, and it is fantasy. I actually have been pushing Sarah to pick it up. I think she's going to probably read this soon, too, because I think this is absolutely up her alley. But it sounds really interesting, and it's a, it says it's a contemporary Jewish fantasy of enduring love, unfathomable loss, and the power of stories to hold us together when it seems like nothing else can. So it sounds like it's going to be a really great read, so I'm very excited to get to this. Now, just about everything else in this stack are books that I'm reading for Build Your Library purposes. Like, I'm gonna say that this is the month of middle grade. I also have things coming in the mail because I'm gonna be doing a vlog where I read the Sybils finalists for the middle grade fiction category. There are seven books in that category that I need to read before fe February 14th. I believe Valentine's Day is when they announce the winner of the category, and my goal was to read like all of them before then and then decide who I think should be the winner. I did this last year. I'll link a video if you're interested, but I don't know if I'm going to get to all of these things. There are so many books here. So, let's just let's just run through them. I have Bronze and Sunflower by Cao Wenxuan. I think is how you say that name. 
And this is translated from Chinese by Helen Wang. This is a story about the Cultural Revolution in China. I haven't really seen any middle grade that covers that time period, so I was very excited about reading this. Um, I have this in my pile for level four as a potential book to go there. I don't know if it will. Every time I say this, just take it with a grain of salt because I haven't gotten to these yet, so I don't know what's going where. Don't buy anything because I've said it's going in level four until I say it's official. <laughs> but this is a book that I am definitely intrigued to read because I love reading about China. Then I have Blackbird Girls by Anne Blinkman, and this is a story set in Russia in the 1980s, I believe, because this has something to do with Chernobyl. And also, um, I think one of, the main, one of the main characters is Jewish and is sort of like learning about their family's history and how they came to be in Russia. I don't really know a lot about this besides it sounds like a book that I'm going to be obsessed with. I love anything to do with Russia. I love anything to do with Judaism and you throw in like a disaster and trauma and stuff like that and I'm probably going to eat this up. Then I have A Night Divided. This is by Jennifer A. Nielsen. I bought this like three years ago, I think, and I've since collected at least three other books by this author, and I've read none of them. So I definitely wanted to prioritize this one because, again, this is a topic I just don't see that often in middle grade. This is the about the sudden rise of the Berlin Wall. So, sounds like a book that I'm probably going to love, and I'm just really intrigued by. Again, I don't know if this is going to be in level four or not. All of these are potentials. I have Soul Lanterns by Sha Kuzki, and this has to do with the bombing of Hiroshima. I, I appreciate that it's short. This is a novella. Um, I've been looking for a story about this that isn't going to be too dark because level four, I feel like you don't really want to delve too deeply into the trauma so much. And a lot of the books that I've read or seen that have to do with Hiroshima are really dark, obviously. This one sounds like it might be more along the lines of Sadako and the Thousand Cranes. Is that what that one's called? And I think it has potential, I think, to be something that would be appropriate for level four. Then I have Once by Morris Gleitzman, and this is part of a trilogy, I believe. I think this is the first book in the trilogy. Yeah, because the other ones are Then and Now. And these are all to do with the Holocaust. Um, I've had this book on my shelf for a really long time, and I've just never gotten to it, but I've heard so many people mention it that I feel like I just, I, I don't know why I, ha I haven't gotten to it yet. Then I have Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. This is one that I have to say that it's pretty likely to be in level four. I feel fairly confident that this is going to be something that I absolutely love and that I'm going to want to use in level four. This is like a magical school scenario. This is a girl looking for her brothers after they've gone missing, I think, and learning magic and, and that kind of thing. So it sounds like it's going to be great. This is also going to count towards my Build Your Library reading challenge this year because this is going to be a story with magic that is not Harry Potter. That's like one of the prompts. So Definitely excited to pick that up. Next, I have Finding Junie Kim by Ellen O. Oh. This has been a book that I've just been like really, really wanting to pick up. I pre-ordered this because I knew this was a story that I was like, I need to read this. So I've had this waiting for me and I, I haven't gotten to it yet and I don't know why. So this is about a girl like learning her family's history about the Korean War and how they came to be in America and that kind of thing, I think. Her teacher assigns an oral history project, so she has to learn about her family's history through through that, and it just sounds great. And this is one of the Sybil's finalists, so score. I already had it in my TBR this month, so I was really excited about that. Next, I have Ophie's Ghosts by Justina Ireland. I don't, this isn't going in level four, but I had an idea for this in mind to do with Build Your Library, so stay tuned for that. But I've been just really wanting to read this. I, again, pre-ordered it, was so excited about it, and haven't had a chance to pick it up. So, making it a priority this month to get to. So this is set in Pittsburgh in like the 1920s, and it's sort of like a historical fantasy because it has to do with ghosts and like racism in that time period, but also like the history of things that have happened there. So. I've been so intrigued by this, and I just, it's been calling to me, so I really want to pick this up. 
And then the last book in my stack also came from the publisher HarperCollins. When they sent me those two arcs, they also sent me a copy of this. This is Hollow Chest by Britta Sandstrom. And this is another World War II story. And I've just been really, really anxious to get to it. And I, I just like, I don't know. I wanted to read this in December and it just didn't happen. So I'm making this happen this month. I don't really know too much about it because I don't like reading too deeply into synopsis because sometimes they spoil the story a little bit and take something away from that. So I don't know beyond that it's World War II and I believe it is set in London. So that's all I know. But it's middle grade and it sounds great. So like I said, I am, I'm reading a lot of middle grade this month and I'm not sad about it. I adore middle grade and so I'm very excited to tackle this stack. Like I said, I also have some other things coming in the mail this week. And I didn't want to wait and film this video later because I wanted to get it up the first week of the month and I know if I wait, it's not going to happen. I have some other books. I'll Maybe I'll put pictures around me to let you see a little sneak peek. I also have some things on my Kindle that I'm reading. A couple of arcs on my Kindle this month. So I have a lot of reading plans. Will I get to everything? Maybe. One of my goals this year is to scroll my phone less and read more. So, there's potential. <laughs> what do you guys have on tap to read this month? Let me know down below in the comments and we'll chat about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye!